Charles Schul, we make the acquaintance of Cause. What is it, or who, to be precise, has brought both art collectors and skater kids to this gallery opening on New York's Fifth Avenue? How are you doing, Nathan? Very good. To come and see this many people is interesting. Nice to meet you. Me too. Meet Cause, K-A-W-S, painter, designer, former graffiti artist, and one of the hottest names in the art world. More on his unusual name in a minute. After years of shying away from galleries, this reluctant star is now showing his face and his work to a whole new crowd. The minute I saw the painting, the very minute I saw them, I said, that's it. Sandra Gehring owns the Gehring and Lopez Gallery. He is just of his time. He connects with his generation, totally, and the younger ones as well. I mean, they just idolize him. It doesn't feel like somebody painted it. It feels like, it feels almost like a drawing blown up. You know what I mean? It's perfect. Yeah, it feels perfect. I'm just so psyched for him. Look what he's doing for everybody. You know, like no artist would be, he's so kind. It wasn't all that long ago that the 34-year-old cause was just another mischievous kid. He found his artistic voice through the illegal public painting of graffiti. I just started simply through graffiti and, you know, drawing on my skateboard, painting on walls and getting that small recognition. To his family, he's known as Brian Donnelly. He grew up in the shadow of Manhattan, just across the river in Jersey City, where his faded tags can still be seen on the sides of buildings. Donnelly used the name Cause to stay anonymous. He only made his real name public five years ago. Your name comes from what? It's just a, a combination of letters that, that I liked. And, you know, when your whole art's based on the lettering that you choose, you kind of figure out what ones work together. Like, I just like the shapes of K-A and W-S. It has no meaning. Cause became a street legend in the 90s by painting over bus stop ads, establishing his signature mark, drawing X's over eyes. He then started designing products and vinyl figures. My first character was called Companion. Mm -hmm. And painting cartoon characters from his childhood. There is kind of a nostalgic feeling yeah. I get when I see it. It's like, oh, those guys. Especially like, oh. for the Smurfs. I mean, for me, that's one of the things, like, you know, if I went to the dentist, I was allowed to buy a Smurf afterwards. Ten years later, thanks in part to a huge Internet fan base, Cause, who hasn't painted graffiti in a decade, has become a worldwide sensation. Even some of music's biggest names have taken note. Hip-hop mogul Pharrell Williams was an early admirer. You know, to our generation, we're going to look at him like, you know, he's the guy that made us pay attention to art. Williams has commissioned dozens of pieces for his Miami home. When you see Cause, he is something. He's, his work is really, truly like a stimulant. Like, you see it, and it makes you, you know, it connects with the inner child. In the night, I hear and Cause has also created artwork for superstar rapper Kanye West. Colorful designs by Cause appear on West's latest album cover and on billboards, including this one in Times Square. That's you. <laughs> yeah, the Simpsons crew did a character. That's great. Working out of his Brooklyn studio, Cause has also collaborated with some of the world's biggest brands, like Nike and Marc Jacobs. I work with people that I admire, and Marc's definitely one of them. He only releases a limited number of each product. What is a fan to do if someone wants to buy one of your... You know, they become savvy really fast and figure out how to buy stuff at retail. But it's not that easy. So who's this guy? So this is just a stormtrooper. Last fall, thousands of fans lined the streets of Tokyo outside Cause's shop in hopes of buying a Star Wars stormtrooper he designed with Lucasfilm. Most went home empty-handed. 
Despite his increasing fame, Kaz says he's still happiest in the studio. It's really the only time where I could kind of have, have like a, a clarity and think about everything that's going on. There's a sort of calmness of being there and working and being in the studio alone. How long did this one take you? Probably about three or four weeks, mm -hmm. you know, and that's in working on other stuff at the same time. He's created dozens of new pieces, including bronze sculptures of his own head for solo shows at galleries in New York, Miami, and an upcoming exhibition that opens later this month in Los Angeles. They can sell for up to $100,000. The shows give Cause a chance to introduce himself to a new audience while sending his diehard fans into a frenzy. That's like really, really cool. I really um, appreciate no it. No problem. You're still surprised that it's this big and kind of come this far? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to make of it. You know, it is, it is shocking that, that there's like that many people that are interested and stay interested or follow the work. And while fans see him as a phenomenon, Cause has a different take. Right now I feel hungry. There's like a lot of things I need to settle. There's things I need to do. There's places I need to get that I'm just really far from. 